People are eager to get back to where they are in terms of destinations. People are yep. also eager to get back to normal here, but that's not going to be necessarily the case for us, for at least for this afternoon. Right. Now, by no means are we done with this. Mm -hmm. I think there's going to be periods of rain today that are very light, and then periods of rain today that could be very heavy that could still lead to some flash flooding issues oh, out wow. there. So if we talked about yesterday. We're not just going to, now that the storm is near Shreveport almost, we're not done. I mean, this has to, all this moisture is going to be wrapping around and it coming up this way. Yeah. Radar, all of that's still so south of us. we are far from done with this. Yeah, it's and really uh, so today. do be prepared for more rain. It may even linger into tomorrow morning when we're on air. We may still have oh to talk goodness. about some issues. Yeah. Don't count me in on that. I'm, I'm <laughs> come join us. Are you trying to leave us come now, Tom? That's not yet. how this goes. <laughs> not leaving yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, right now, though, you can see here the uh, center of circulation sitting about over uh, Manny, Louisiana, not too far away from Toledo Bend at this point. It's basically south of Shreveport. You can see there still a tropical storm winds of 45 miles per hour, moving north northwest today, and the pressure about 1,005 millibars. But you'll see here that uh, all that rain's continuing to move on through and some heavy bands there really kind of working the way right up through uh, Lafayette to Opelousas. That's where they're going to get that potential for 15 inches of rain in a few of those spots. Our rain totals, we kind of dropped them yesterday. I think last night they dropped them even more and I'm continuing to keep them in the forecast, but not intense like amount that we did once see had the heaviest you can see kind of up near the Hattiesburg area. System expected to get to near Little Rock by noon on Monday and then beyond that kind of working its way into southern Missouri, losing its tropical characteristics at that point as it keeps that northward track right now though yeah we got some rain coming on in you can see here again some of the downpours you can hear it on the roof here uh, with that rain coming in 83 degrees in town 82 in Slidell winds are south southeast at 17 gusting to 28 there and gusting to 22 in the north shore winds won't be quite as strong today because the bigger wind field has collapsed and moving its way closer to where the actual system is but you'll still see again winds there gusting to 22 in Hammond there's 28 here 23 in Homa but sustained winds are about 10 to 15 miles per hour at the moment and maybe up to 20 in a few places so we will see the winds kind of kicking up a little bit. Still could see some wind gusts around 25 to 30 or so miles per hour through 5 o'clock this evening as the onshore flow continues. And this will kind of keep that water being piled up across the coastal areas as well as on into part of the lake too. Now going here on into Monday, you'll see by the 2.30 in the morning, still could see some wind gusts over 20, but the sustained winds are much lighter across the area and that will continue heading into Monday. Now we do have a coastal flood advisory in effect till 4 p.m. as the onshore flow continues. Tides still running about 1 to 3 three feet above ground level, at least at this hour. There you see the rain, one batch kind of working the way through the area now, another batch much in more intense rain here, and all this is feeding on into the center of circulation as it wraps right around it. So that will continue throughout the day today. This right over top of the Pearl River from Angie Bogalusa back down to Picayune and Slidell continues to be some heavy, heavy rain here and could potentially cause uh, some street flooding issues. Nothing too significant with this because it is moving, just kind of more of a moderate to heavy, steady rain there. To the south, you see the light showers coming through town. Nothing too significant right now, which is some good news here. Uh, farther to the south, you can see some of those bands of rain continue to work their way on in from Galliano, Chauvin area, back to Thibodeau, Morgan City. Some of those downpours coming on in, and that's the heavier rain off to the west. We still have a threat for tornadoes, a marginal risk of level one out there. Not many expected once the system pulls farther to the north, but with these bands of rain continue to come in, especially this more intense one. And as that moves through, that may take till maybe this afternoon to get here, maybe toward the evening hours, and we could be dealing with some heavy rain later in the day. Notice all all that moisture here. This is the deeper moisture coming up in water vapor. There's a dry air, that rusty color. But as this eventually spirals around the big circulation there, because the upper level low is not underneath or above the actual surface low. And so that's why we're still dealing with all of this coming on in, but definitely going to be a wetter day today. So this morning, bands of heavy rain, some tornadoes, possible coastal flooding that continues this afternoon and into tonight. Just some scattered showers with some brief heavy rain when you go to bed. So a batch of rain could come through by 930 this morning. Looks like more uh, spotty areas of heavy rain by noon today and then going forward here onto this afternoon some scattered storms but look at this here comes that batch of really heavy rain I was talking about that could come in this could cause some flooding issues for us on 530 on Sunday tonight into seven o'clock as well and still even more from eight o'clock on into about 10 o'clock tonight so I think even after dark tonight we still could be dealing with some of that really intense rain coming on in now temperature is not really a big deal today in the 80s but a lot of rain expected throughout much of the day today so an additional two to four inches of rain possible still coastal flooding out there around one to three feet. There's winds not too bad and a few tornadoes still kind of working the way through the area. And here again is your rain totals kind of looking at anywhere from about two to four inches across much of the area as we go on in throughout the day today. So we'll continue watching for that. And the flash flood watch is in effect for that reason until seven o'clock for tonight. That may have to be extended, especially based off of those recent trends of the models bringing the heavier rain in later today. North Shore rivers continue to rise as we go forward here throughout tonight all the way to tomorrow. Quickly looking at some of them here, you can see Jafuncta River going to get to
It's about 19 feet there in Folsom. On Monday, Covington will get about 28 feet, so above flood stage for both of those. Boga Fly Camp Covington will get to 51 feet above flood stage, and Boston Street 11 feet, about 5 feet above flood stage. That would occur Monday and Tuesday. Boga Chid up in Tyler Town going to sit there just a little bit above flood stage, save for the Frankenstein area and Bush, not near as bad because the rain totals were much lower. And last, they change the whole river. You will see, still see some rises a couple feet above maybe flood stage, especially down there at Roberts, but that's really about the worst of what we'll see on the Tangipahoe River. So finally, we start to slowly turn back to normal with some windy heavy rain tomorrow and then as we get on into the rest of the week hot and humid with daily just pop-up storms.